let's talk about Atom SQ in FL Studio. It's probably one of my most requested things to cover. Uh, so I figured I could knock out a quick video on this and break my dry spell of videos. I need to make more, and I will make more. But um, I'll go over a couple of things. How SQ works right out of the box with FL Studio, uh, but I'll also go into how you can kind of integrate it a little bit better um, regarding transport and some other tricks as well. So uh, first things first, you plug in SQ, you load up FL Studio. Uh, this is what you're going to see. So we usually default into this kind of piano mode, which I happen to have a piano on my one of my channels here. Of course, if I was on a different channel, let's say my hat, then I'm going to be able to play uh, whatever the sample is uh, chromatically. So um, any of the knobs and some of the buttons are automatically assignable, uh, or I should say manually assignable uh, within FL Studio using their, their link uh, command, essentially. One thing to know is that you know these A through H buttons are octaves. So if I have that, and actually A is a little bit different. A is sustain. Right? So those usually have to deal with banks, uh, if you're dealing with drums or they deal with octaves. However, if I hold down the shift button, then those turn into just kind of generic MIDI assignable buttons. So if I push A, B, C, D, you'll look up here in the upper left-hand corner that this changes and shows you there's incoming MIDI off of those. So those can be assigned uh, using the link command in FL Studio. Uh, so can the knobs as well. And just a brief side note, if you go over to side note, if you go over to user, you'll see that we have multiple pages of knobs to work with and multiple pages of buttons. So we have two pages of buttons that you can assign, and we have up to four different pages of knobs that you can assign as well. That's great. Um, all this stuff is super usable, and especially if you want to be able to knock out stuff and play it in real time, Atom SQ is perfect. Um, but of course, some people want to go through and be able to use transport and have just a little bit extra functionality there. So what you need to do is here in FL, you go to options, we'll go to MIDI settings, and you'll see that we have two MIDI ports here for the Atom SQ. This will show up on um, Mac, which I'm on right now, or Windows. Windows labeling is a little bit different. You'll see Atom SQ, but I think you'll see like MIDI 2 SQ or something here for the second one. But the important thing to remember is that that second port, the control port, is what's going to pass important things like transport, etc. So this first port will be MIDI notes and control messages, and the second port is more control surfacey, if that's even a word, um, type of messages. So what we need to do is assign it a port, usually by default, you won't say anything there. So I'm going to assign it to zero, make sure there's nothing that's in conflict with that. And then um, under input here, you'll see uh, Atom SQ control, but usually what you'll see is this. You'll see generic controller, and it won't be assigned a port, of course, wrong way. So um, what you need to do is do the controller type, and it's not going to say personas because we're actually going to be using the MCU protocol here. So we want to select Mackie Control Universal. Once again, make sure the ports are the same. We got zero and zero for both of these control ports. Make sure this is enabled. And once that's done, now when I hit play here, ah, excellent, because I had this actually come up the other day with somebody. That's how you set it up in FL, but we actually have to do something here on the Atom SQ. It's funny how I made that work out, huh? So if you hit setup, go to page two, you'll see right now that I'm in MIDI mode. So this means that all of the messages coming out here are just standard MIDI messages. But there's also a Huey mode, and this is mainly for Pro Tools, although some other DAWs can make use of it. And then we have MCU mode. So we're using Mackie Control Universal. So that's what we want. So we select MCU mode. It's going to say, hey, are you sure? I'm going to say yes. And then now both should be talking to each other. So now when I hit play, there's my transport. And stop will stop the transport. If I hit the record button, it'll throw it into record. Uh, there are a few quirks of MCU in general. So you might have duplicate commands in places. So like, uh, you know, record is record, but the count in actually does record as well too. It's all dependent on how the software developer, um, the DAW developer implements MCU. Uh, so this also means now that I can go over here into song mode and this screen changes now that we're in MCU mode. 
So we have solo, mute, arm, and then we have zoom and cursor. So I can use my up and down buttons here, as you see, to go around my mixer. So let's say I wanted to go to channel five, and then I can solo that, or I can mute it, or I can record arm that. Um, so that's where the up and down arrows come useful. And this is also a function of, of Mackie control. Um, if I were to hide this and select my arrangement, and if I select zoom here, I can use this knob, and now that'll allow me to go through and scroll through um, the arrangement. Now, one note, if you were to use your knob over here uh, and scroll through your mixer, I find that what happens is that solo is still tied to whatever last state the, the actual arrow buttons were on. So um, I wouldn't use that so much. I'd use the arrow buttons to go through and um, select stuff to solo and, and mute or arm. But um, also when you have the channel rack selected and I have zoom, then I can go through and scroll through all my steps as well too. Um, and then one last note, the song mode has actually two pages. So if I switch to page two, you'll see buttons one through six. These are also, once again, just sending standard MIDI messages. So if you look up here, note that as I press these, they're blinking. So this means that they can be assigned in FL as well too. So, you know, with a combination of uh, MCU protocol, which will give you your transport and some other cool things, as well as assigning buttons or knobs, um, you get a okay amount of control with FL Studio, um, sometimes even more than most, depending on what you're using. Uh, and then you throw that into, I throw that, I throw in as well, the ability to use scales. So if I come over here, this is all built into Atom SQ. Uh, we're set to chromatic right now, but right, that's chromatic. If I switch this to major or minor pentatonic, or sorry, major pentatonic. And then notice how the keyboard is kind of, some things are lit up and some things are not. You can still play wrong notes in this mode, but the uh, lit up pads are showing you the, the uh, correct notes in the scale. But if I change to a different keypad mode, this is blocks mode, um, then I can go through here and say, okay, major, Now there's no wrong notes. Or go to, let's do minor pentatonic. And use that. If I need to change my root, I select root. Right, so that gives me control over scales and roots. And then um, let's say I have a hi-hat selected and um, I can turn on 16 step velocity. So this means that, let's say I select that or go higher up, let's try. So I want that sample or that pitched sample for the hi-hat. Now the bottom row is um, has that sample and it's different velocities on the bottom row, one through 16. So this is the softest. No matter how hard I hit it, it's gonna be the softest. And 16 is always gonna be the loudest. So that means I can kind of use different velocities and play it differently for those of you that are familiar with the 16 velocity mode. So quite a bit of stuff that you can do that's unique um, with the Atom SQ and FL. Um, it's not kind of direct integration that you would get with something like a, a fire, for example. Um, but I think you'd be pleasantly surprised with the amount of stuff that you can do with SQ and FL Studio. If you got any other questions, please put them in the comments and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. Thanks. Bye.